Oh yeah, ki dupe dupe, dupe dupe. Onpe ye, oh baba. Ah, oh yeah, ki dupe dupe, dupe dupe. Onpe ye, oh baba. You say, I say me oh, I say right, let me. Awala ye, I do awala ye. Ah, oh yeah, ka dupe dupe, dupe dupe. Onpe ye, oh baba. Atemiyo,atarayilemi,awalaye,atuwalaye,awoyekidupedupe,onpeyeobaba,awoyekidupedupedupedupe,onpeyeobaba,awoyekidupedupedupedupe,onpeyeobaba. You say, Atemiyo, Atarayilemi. If I choose to count, oh, I go lose count, oh. If I choose to measure, now oversight. What God has started, only God can finish. What God has started, oh, only God can finish.
Let's come in fear and in trembling. Let's come with hope and expectation. As we have come to his presence with hope and expectation. We pray it will not be cut off in Jesus' name. I quickly want to read to us from the book of Psalm. 8, 1 to 3. And it says, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the heads who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes are suckings that as thou art ordained strength from because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal thy enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. Only David Yorike Jo is a king city as a keta, Olua, Oluawa, Oruko Retini, Tony Boguaye, what you go go reca, Oria won, Latia no, I won more war, at your more moon, ni what he say, La Noagara, Nitoria won or Tare, Nitoriki, what you live moon or Talu Besson, Ni Idakeje, Nibati, Moro, or Re. Ishe ikare, ishe ikare, ushupa ati rawo, ti wati she ilano sile. 
Let's begin to appreciate our maker. Let's begin to wave your hands in appreciation. Appreciate him for the bread that is in you. Appreciate him for his goodness in your life. Appreciate him for his Appreciate him for safety. Appreciate him for being Christ our Lord. Appreciate him for his our counselor. He's our redeemer. He's our instructor. He's our savior. And he's our teacher. Begin to call him name. He's our present helper. In times of trouble, his response is swifter than the response of 911. In his God, all by himself, is the whole sovereign God, his Lord Sabaoth, is Yahweh, is Yeshua, I am that I am. I need to appreciate him for his deliverance. I need to appreciate him for his protection. I need to appreciate him for the grace he has given unto you. Witness and order of the youth. In the year 2020, it is a great privilege we have received. Begin to appreciate it. Begin to appreciate it. Begin to ask for forgiveness and obtain Forgiveness, true mercy. What the Bible says, for the sins of a man, bring snare unto him, and it hinders our prayer. Obtain forgiveness, true mercy. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Tell God, I have come to your presence. I have come to your presence. I to stay to receive from you. Increase my faith. Increase my faith in this tribe. When all, all hope seems to be lost. When my strength seems to be Increase my faith. Increase my faith. When it seems all hope is being chattered. When my hope is that I don't think I'll go back. My job is still there for me. I have come to your presence. Lord, increase me. Increase my faith. Increase my faith. Increase my faith. Increase my faith. Begin to thank him for his answer. Begin to thank him for his answer. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Our Bible reading for this evening shall be taken from the book of Hebrew chapter 10, verse 36 to 39. I read. For you have for you have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he who is coming will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draw back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. I pray, may God bless the reading of his word and the listeners in Jesus' name.
God. Ni Oluwa logo. Praise the living Jesus. Ni Jesus Allah ye logo. Let the joy of God in our faces. E je ka nri ayo Oluwa loju yi. We want to appreciate the name of the Lord for another time in the presence of God. A fe mo riri Oluwa fun anfani miran ni waju gun wa re. Most especially for 2020 youth week celebration. Ba pa julo fun ajo yo odun awa odo fun odun 2020. It is a wonderful thing in the presence of God. O je ohun iyanu ni waju Oluwa that despite the challenges that is going on in the world, we are celebrating the youth week of this year. We praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray together. Our most righteous goal, the one that was, the one that is, and the one that is to come, bless your name for an opportunity to be your presence today. Thank you for the youth in Nigeria Baptist Convention. We thank God for the youth in Nigeria, and youth of First Baptist Church, Koshofe, Lagos. We thank you because of your faithfulness over our lives. We thank you of your faithfulness of your, over your church. We thank you over your faithfulness over the shepherd of the church. Lord, Accept our thanks, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. As we go into today's message, into today's message, we pray, O Lord, that you will lead us in the name of Jesus. We pray for your presence. We pray for your spirit. We pray for unction to function in your presence. That did let it be so, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, after the, today's presentation, all of us together will be blessed. And your name shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We want to appreciate the name of the Lord once again. For Nigeria Baptist Convention Youth Conference. And for the whole leadership of the Nigeria Baptist Convention. For making it possible for us to come together today as a church as a you to pray together, to rejoice together in the presence of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. We also appreciate the name of the Lord concerning our Father in the Lord of Ephraim And all the leadership of the youth ministry of this church. May the Lord bless us together in the name of Jesus. We want to bless the name of God for our pastor, the youth week pastor. For the way he has taught us on Sunday, he told us specifically that for our faith to be a living faith, we have to be a born again child of God. We, have to, we need to have an encounter with God. And our faith in God must not be shaken. Today also, for this uh, Wednesday pre midweek service, our topic shall be increase my faith, O Lord. And our Bible uh, reading is not different from the one that was raised on Sunday. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36 to 39. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 to 11. Faith is a crucial factor in our work with God. In our relationship with God, our faith must be firm. The book of Hebrews made it very, very clear to us. Without faith, we cannot please the Lord. Without faith, we cannot please the Lord. It will be difficult to receive anything from God without faith. Either, either gift or direction. 
No one can receive anything from God except that person believes so strongly in God. It is also very important that every children of God must run to God in order to assess all his promises. We have to assess God by faith. As it's written in Abacus chapter 2 verse 4. That the just shall live by faith. Without faith, the righteous cannot fulfill all the necessary ingredients that God requires from him. When a believer believes, then the door is opened unto him from God. When a believer is discovered that he or she is weak spiritually, it is expected that such a believer will run to the Lord. Will run to the Lord. Who is the source and the source of our strength? We see it in the book of Exodus chapter twelve verse Exodus. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. That God brood over the Israelites in Egypt through his power. So the Israelites were saved by the power of God. We see it also in Psalm 91. From verse 1 to 4. That whoever that runs to God will be saved. Whoever that has made God his strength and rampart will be blessed as well. Also in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31 we see it very clearly that that's the source of us as believers in Christ is there in God. Either people are fainting, either people are weary, as well as we depend on God solely, we will be strengthened. Then our power will rise up and the Lord shall bless such a person. Praise the Lord. The book of John chapter 15 verse 5 made it very clear. As far as we are in goal, we will be fruitful. Not only that we will be fruitful, everything that we are doing, we enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to believe that somebody is believing and depending on God at this period. I want to believe that at this period, somebody's faith is not sinking. I also want to believe that righteous as we are, the believer in Christ, we are not looking elsewhere for power for strength. There is no doubt that the time we are living in presently is a difficult time. But for those of us that have placed our faith in Christ Jesus, we must continue to renew our strength and our relationship in Christ every day so that our faith could be built in the As you have seen in the current challenges in the, in, in, in the world, human assistance is, is challenged in every facet. As human health is deteriorating, loved ones are dying, suicide is on the high side, people are, lo are losing their sources of livelihood. National economies are falling into recession. There are pandemonium everywhere. Not minding the challenges. The scripture is standing firm. He says, the just, the just shall live by faith. The Lord, the God remains unchangeable. His word is yea and amen. Our God also is the creator of heaven and the heart. 
and everything that is in it, it is in it. It is written in the book of Psalms, chapter 24, verse 1 to 5. He is changing everything. He is changing everything. And and he himself remains unchangeable. Increase my faith, O Lord. Increase my faith, O Lord. It's a prayer petition of a righteous man. Somebody who, is, who does not believe in God cannot run to God and ask him to increase his faith. Therefore, our focus today, the mixed with service, focuses majorly on the righteous. That has made the Lord his strength and power. Increase my faith. It's the prayer petition of the righteous, like I said. If you look at the picture that is being painted here, you will see something clearly. Somebody whose faith is sinking. A believer in Christ who is weary. A believer in Christ whose power, whose strength is shrinking. Who runs to his sources of his power and strength. Who is the Lord? And saying to him, Increase my faith, O Lord. Because such person knows that the Lord strengthens his own. Let's quickly look at the picture that the prayer of the righteous is showing to us at this point. A person that is running to God, the righteous that is running to God that we're talking about. Is the person who has totally rely on God for strength, for strength and power. As we see in the in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36. Hebrews 10 verse 36. He read us. You need not to preserve so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a while, he who is coming will come and he will not delay but my righteous one will live by faith and I, take, and I take no pleasure in one who strings back praise, praise he the Lord praise he the Lord the righteous as is shown in this passage is not just a church goer this the righteous as it is shown to us here. Who believes in God? It's not the person who believes in God when he pleases him. The believer in Christ as it is shown to us here. And it is a person who has taken his totality on God. When it pleases him, and when it does not please him, praise ye the Lord. The righteous here. Has made the Lord his strength a rampart. The book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, is a great star. The righteous runs into him, and he is saved. Why would the righteous run to the Lord? The righteous has the total assurance that whenever he goes, to go. He will get answer to his prayers. Praise the Lord. Whenever this righteous needs to renew his strength, he knows where to run to. He does not rely on his glory or his own strength. As you have seen it in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, 40 verse 29. When we we wait, wait upon the Lord, our strength will be renewed. Our strength will be renewed. The Lord knows our strength. He knows our frame. 
he knows what to do when we are we. But he's, he's expecting, uh, expecting us to run to him when we are out of strength. Are we running to God when we are out of strength? Are we running to God at this present challenge? At this present moment when the challenge is facing, the challenge is facing the whole world. When the source of your life's livelihood is being taken away, do you run to God? When you heard about a, 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 a coronavirus, who do you run to? When you heard coronavirus, who do you run to? When you heard about a coronavirus, who do you run to? The righteous, as it has been shown to us here, runs to God every time. He does not glory in his in, in self righteousness and hold anointing. The righteous that is being shown to us here renews his anointing in God every time. Because he knows that the anointing of yesterday is not enough for today. Therefore, he runs to God for strength. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Tell us that we should go to God. Praise, to, praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter eight, verse, chapter six, verse ten. Sorry. Ephesians chapter six, verse ten. He says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the Power of his mind. Brethren, at this point in time, if there is anything we need, we need to be strong in the Lord. Praise the Lord. The second thing that I want us to consider about the righteous is that there is never a place when it is said that the righteous will not be confused. There is never a place where it is said that the righteous will not have challenge. There is never a place where it is said that the challenge, the righteous will not have issues of life. But one thing that is fundamental that when the righteous is, is running out of strength, he should run to go. I want us to quickly look at two characters who are righteous. The first character I want us to look at is a, a, a prophet Elijah. We all know what God did through prophet Elijah in the book of 1 Kings. Prophet Elijah was never any, uh, we never doubt the anointing of prophet Elijah. If there were places where he raises the dead, there were places on the mount uh, uh, where, where he killed the prophet of Baz. But when we got to verse King, uh, the book of 1 Kings chapter 19, 1 Kings chapter 19, oh, like Yoruba people will say, it's a pity as Yoruba people will say, something happened to prophet Elijah. The book of 1 Kings, Chapter 19. Let's read from verse 1 to 3. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And with that how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah. Say, so let the God do to me. And more also, if I make not thy life as that of one of, the, of them by sorrow about this time. And when he saw that he arose and went for his life and, and came to Bathsheba which belonged to Judah. And he left his servant there. By emphasis is in Verse 3. And he says so. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah. Saying, So let the God do so do to me. And more also, if I make not that life as at the life of one of them. By tomorrow at this time. As the result of this message, 
Bible recorded that Elijah became afraid. And he ran away. He even left his servant. Praise you, the Lord. Another character I quickly want us to look at. Oh. Is Apostle Peter. Is Apostle Peter in the book of uh, uh, Matthew chapter 14. Apostle Peter Matthew the disciples were walking, they were in the boat on the on the on the on the sea. And Jesus Christ was coming. Jesus on the sea. He was walking on the sea. And Apostle Peter saw him. He cried unto him. Okay. Master, is that you? If it is you, ask me to come. And before you know it, Apostle Peter started walking on the Apostle Peter started doubting. He started sinking. When fear came in, he started sinking. When he was confused, he started sinking. I put it before you today. In what area are your feet sinking? In what area are you confused? In what area are you afraid? Have you run to the Lord? Have you run to the Lord? May the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. I quickly want us to pray some prayer points, which I believe it is crucial for this point. We are going to pray for the youth and for the church of God. Praise the Lord. Let us begin to appreciate God for another year of youth week. The Lord has been faithful to us by making us to see another year of the youth week of the Nigeria Baptist Convention Youth Conference. Let us begin to appreciate God. Lord, we appreciate your name for your faithfulness for making us to see another year. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we appreciate your name. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for the church of God because at this point, the church must be confused at the point. Let us pray that every spirit of confusion, that every spirit of fear, that every spirit of doubt, that the Lord will come against it in the church, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let us pray for all the youth of Nigeria Baptist Convention, that every, at every point of their life where they are being confused, at every point of their life where they are being fearful, at every point of their life where they are being afraid, that the Lord will surface for them in the name of Jesus. That they will receive strength to forge ahead in the name of Jesus. Are we praying at all? Let's continue to pray. Ask the Lord to deliver you yourself from every spirit of fear. Is it in your business that you have been afraid? Is it because of your source of livelihood that has been taken away? Is it because of the way you are looking at it? Am I, am I going to feed my children. Run to God. Run to God. In prayer, pray. Lord, please, in every area where I'm being afraid for, where I've been doubtful of your promises, Lord, please increase my faith. Increase my faith. Ask God for fresh fire for the church of God. For fresh fire in this period of, of lukewarmness. Of goodness, of strange doctrine. Pray that the Lord, oh Lord, will take control and buy, I'm, 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 I'm nullify them in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to feed the Nigerian Baptist Youth Conference youth with wisdom. With power and with wisdom that we become agent of change. That we become agent of kingdom expansion. In the name of Jesus. The Bible, the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5 to 6, made us very clear. Whoever that needs wisdom, let him ask of the Lord. 
acts of the Lord. Oh, I had an acts of the Lord. That that you should increase your wisdom. That you should increase your strength. In order to become agent of change. In this period. Are you praying at all? Are you praying at all? Do you need direction in any area? Why don't you pray to God, Lord, in this area, I need direction. Please lead me. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 21, made it very clear. He said, Your teacher will no longer be eating. Your teacher will no longer be eating. When you move to the left, or you move to the left, right, he said you will hear a voice behind you saying to you, This is the way. Walk daring. This is the way. Walk daring. Why don't you cry to that God? Oh, please, I need direction in this area. Please direct me, direct me in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for the healing power of all my. Go. All as many that are sick in the body, that the Lord will heal them in the name of Jesus. As many that need healing, they will receive healing in the name of Jesus. As many that are affected by any disease, whatever name that they may be called, that they will receive healing in the name of Jesus. Let us pray, let us pray. Let us pray, let us pray. Let us pray for courage. Direct direction and presence of God for the nation of Nigeria. That the Lord will lead Nigeria to the promised land. If the Lord will lead Nigeria to the promised land, you and I, the youth of the Nigeria Baptist Convention, will not be left out. Let us pray. Lord, Make me agent of change in Nigeria. Make me agent of change in my community. In the name of Jesus. Are we praying at all? Let us begin to appreciate God because he has answered our prayer. Let us begin to appreciate God because he's our God. Let us begin to appreciate God because he's our God that answered by fire. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we want to thank you for your word that has come to us. Even this evening, we return our praise to you. Be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we ask, oh God, is there any way that our faith is waxing cold? Lord, we ask this evening that you will increase our faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray you will rekindle the fire of our faith. That our faith will burn again in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask that your fire will burn in our bone. And we will not be able to withhold it in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Lord, in a time like this, we need direction. Lord, we pray you will lead us aright in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In a time like this, we pray for our leaders in Nigeria and the leaders of the entire world. That Lord, you will lead them aright and you will give them divine direction Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In a time like this, we need your mercy. By faith, we ask this evening that your mercy will attend to us and your mercy will make us outstanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. You, For your servant that you have used, we pray you will renew his strength Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. And for as many who have been under this prayer session tonight, we pray that testimonies will follow their prayers Amen. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, mighty daddy, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. In a special way, we want to register our gratitude unto God. For the success of 2020 Youth Anniversary. The Lord has blessed us tremendously. And want to thank God for all our youths. We thank God for the leadership and for the members. The Lord has used them and it is our prayer that the Lord will continue to use them. So for the success of this year anniversary, 
I want you to stand on your feet. And let's appreciate our God. Let's appreciate God. Let's pour heart of gratitude unto the Lord. song on to a prayer. Because we have several reasons to say thank you to our God. His sustaining power. His profession. His healing miracle. Let's go ahead and say a word of thank you unto our God. For making this week a success. Let's give him thanks. I want you to thank God for the lives of our youth. Pray that the Lord Almighty will increase his grace upon them. Pray that they will not lose their their relevance. They have served the Lord this week. Pray that they will not become abandoned vessels. Thank you Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus name we have prayed. Our God and our Father we want to register our appreciation unto you for making 2020 Youth Week a success. Father, we do not want to take your goodness for granted. And Lord, for this reason, we have come with our heart of gratitude. Father, receive our heart of gratitude in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that you will pour out your spirit anew upon your children. That you will open their eyes. Individually, they will discover their ministry area in the church. And as they release themselves, Father, we ask that you will empower them. And for the entire church, Father, I pray you will mark everyone for safety and protection. Lord, I pray you will continue to watch over your children. You will shield them from all evil. You will continue to provide for their needs. As many of them that are burdened, whatever may be the reason for the body Father, I ask that you will stretch forth your hand. You will minister to your children. Yes, missing one. You will deal with object of anxiety in their lives. You will command deliverance. Yes, You will command liberation. You will command healing. And you will release your children into their joy. Yes, 
As many of them that are still struggling with their job, I minister to them in the power of your holy name. Let your resuscitating power come upon their jobs. Let their job bounce back again. And as we continue in life, we pray that your grace will not be withdrawn for us. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Because we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. And now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the if Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with every one of you take good care of you perfect all that concern you even now and forevermore Amen, Amen.